स्वयं प्रभा फ्री डी चैनल फॉर एजुकेशन We are going to solve some second order uh, homogeneous linear one here. So with constant coefficient. So um, we have we have to see again. We are going to solve this problem. Okay. What are the what are the conditions we require? We require the p of x and p of x to be continuous, and then we can see that. So the simple continuous function I know is that constant function. Constant functions are always continuous. So you can say that you can use that. Okay. Using the constant function, we are going to get the answer for this one. So let us assume that p of x and p of x are constant. Okay. Assume that. P and Q are constant, so P equal to constant, okay, and Q equal to constant. Then what I have, I am going to have uh, that is going to become like a constant coefficient equation. So these are continuous, so we can use the theorems or whatever we have derived so far. So I am going to call this as P P of x equal to P. I am going to call and Q of x equal to Q. I am going to call. Therefore, this equation is going to become like y of x plus P y of x plus Q y is going to be equal to Q y square. Okay. Now what I am going to do? Okay. Suppose this is a uh, suppose I know the uh, first order only. First order only. If it is of this form. Okay. Suppose this is going to be of this form. Y is equal to k y form. Suppose I I expect I I think or I am just uh, trying to find if y is can be in this form. What part we can do? Okay. That I am going to find. So it is easy to solve. Suppose y is equal to k y is there. It is easy to solve. That for what we are going to do is that I am just going to assume that here. Y dash is equal to m by I am going to assume. Okay, Y dash is equal to m by I am going to assume. Then that implies Y double dash is going to become like m by dash is Y Y Y dash is going to become like m by dash. Okay, but what is m by dash? Y dash is again m Y. Therefore, this is going to become like m square. Therefore, I can substitute it over here. This is going to become like m square Y plus P y dash is going to become like m y plus q. Uh, so p is that p m y plus q y equal to q. So I can write this as m square plus p m plus q equal to zero into y equal to zero. So I want a tri non-trivial solution. Therefore, I am going to assume y not equal to zero. Therefore, uh, uh, you are going to get m square plus p m plus q equal to zero. So this equation is called axial equation. Okay. This equation simply I call it as an axillary equation. So from this one, so it is a quadratic equation. Since it is a quadratic equation, we can uh, find the roots of this equation. The roots are going to be minus p plus or minus square root of so uh, minus p plus or minus square root of p square minus 4q. Okay, divided by 2. Okay, this is going to be my solution. Minus p plus or minus P square minus four q by two. That is going to be my solution. This is called the axial equation, or we call it as a characteristic equation. So the roots I can write it as. Okay, there are two roots I am going to write. So depending on the discriminant we are going to discuss now. So I can write it as m one is equal to minus alpha plus beta. M two is equal to minus alpha minus beta. I am going to write. Where alpha is going to be p by two, and beta is going to be square root of p square minus four q by two. Okay, so this is the one I am having. Okay. Let us case. Uh, let us discuss the cases one by one. Okay, case number one. Okay, case one. We are going to discuss delta greater than zero. Okay, and then case two. Case two. Okay, and case two. Uh, delta equal to zero. And then I have case three. Okay, case three. Delta less than zero. So three cases we are going to discuss. So first let us discuss case great, uh, delta greater than zero. So we assume that y is equal to m by right. Y is equal to m by we assume and then we proceed with that. So in this case, what is going to come? So your y y is going to become like in this case it is going to become like y dash by y is going to come. Okay, y dash by y equal to m is going to come. Okay. So therefore this is in, this implies y equal to e power m max is going to come. Okay. Y equal to e power m max is going to come. So therefore, what we are going to have, okay, y equal to e power m x. Since delta greater than zero, we are going to have two distinct roots are going to come. Okay, 
okay since you are going to uh, m1 and m2 are real and distinct you are going to get two different uh, roots are going to come therefore you can say y1 is equal to e power m1x and y2 is equal to e power m2x so as per the previous theorem what we have mentioned is that if, uh, there are uh, two independent solutions only okay because this is uh, a second order linear only so uh, dimension of s is going to be two means uh, the dimension of the set of solutions is going to be two and there are no other single solution is going to come therefore the general solution you are going to get is that you are going to get c1 into e power m1 x plus c2 into e power m2 x is going to be this is your general solution okay So in case of case two, what I am going to have is I have okay, I, what I have is m one equal to m two is equal to minus alpha is going to come okay because beta is going to become zero. Therefore, what you are going to get is the, now what is alpha? Alpha is going to be minus alpha is going to be minus p by two okay. So you can also observe that p is equal to two alpha from here okay. Therefore, your y one is going to become like e power minus uh, e power Uh, m1 x okay and y2 is also going to be e power m1 x because both are same so in that case y1 equal to y2 is there okay y1 equal to y2 therefore it is linearly dependent it is not linearly dependent therefore you got to use uh, now what you can do is that you cannot uh, you, you got to find the second dependent independent solution so in that case i'm going to use the reduction of order of that so if you use the reduction of order of that what is equal to b so in that case you are going to use y is equal to Okay, y is equal to we are going to have that using the reduction of part of that we are going to have uh, y is equal to, y two is equal to y one into integral e power minus p t x okay divided by y one square is going to okay so therefore I can write this as okay I can write this as y one into integral e power minus p t x divided by what is y one y one is going to be e power m one x okay what is m one m one is going to be Uh, minus alpha, alpha is going to be minus p by two. Therefore, this I can write this minus p by. Uh, I can write this minus p by two uh, whole square. Okay. So this is this I can write this y one is equal to e power. This is minus p is cancelled, so I can take it up. Therefore, this is going to become like minus uh, b x minus uh, minus x is going to come minus p x is going to come. Okay. So this is minus p by two uh, x is there minus p by two x. Therefore, this is also e power minus p x is going to come because two two gets cancelled into b x is going to come b x is there. So these two gets cancelled. Therefore, we are going to get y one into integral b x is going to come. That is going to be y one into x is going to come. But what is y one? Y one is already e power m one x. Therefore, y two is going to be y one into uh, sorry what uh, x into not y one x into e power m one x is going to come. Okay. Therefore, the general y is going to be c one into e power m one x. The C two x into e power m two x. Okay, so I can write as C one plus C two x into e power m one x. Where m one and m two are same, so I can write this m one x. Okay, okay, that's all. For the case two. So that's what you got. So C one plus C two x into e power m one m one x is going to come. Now next case. So again, we will come to this uh, example a little later. Now next case, what I have, I have case three, which is delta less than zero. So in this case, what I have is I have y equal to e power uh, m one. Okay, first we will write m one and m two. So m one is going to become like m one is going to be minus alpha. Uh, let me put plus beta. Okay, this is going to become like i beta because uh, our delta is less than zero. P square minus four k. I'm going four uh, k minus p square. I'm going right, and m two is equal to Minus alpha minus i beta is going to come. Where beta is nothing but four q minus p square by two. Okay. Therefore, in this case, once again, you are going to get uh, you are going to get your y. Okay, capital Y I am writing. Okay, I am going to write this capital Y, and then I will change that to cast iron side beta. That I will change to small y. So capital Y I am going to write. What I am going to write is that I am going to write it as. Uh, uh, Or I can write small itself. Okay. Okay. So now what what we are going to get is that you are going to get let me say two uh, distinct roots. So y one equal to e power minus alpha x uh, plus i beta x. Okay. Y two is going to be e power minus alpha x minus i beta x is going to come. Okay. Therefore y is going to become like e power minus uh, c one into e power minus alpha x plus i beta x. 
plus c2 into e power minus alpha x minus i beta x. In both cases, e power minus alpha x common, so I can take e power minus alpha x here. Okay, then I what I can write instead, I can write this as c1 into e power i beta x plus c2 into e power minus i beta x. Okay, now by Euler's identity, so Euler uh, by Euler's identity, what do you have said? e power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, so I can substitute it over here. Therefore, this is going to become like e power minus alpha x. Into C1 into cos beta x plus i sin beta x plus C2 into right here C2 into cos beta x minus i sin beta x. Okay, because sine of minus beta is going to be minus sin beta. Therefore, this is going to become a key power minus alpha x into I can take uh, C1 plus C2. Into cos beta x plus c1 minus i c2 into sin beta x. Okay, so let me call this one as a, and let me call this one as b. Sorry, uh, here i is in both places, so i is outside. I into c1 minus c2. Okay, i into c1 minus c2. So therefore, this is going to be complete e power minus alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin. Beta x is equal to okay, so that's it. So these are three cases we got. Okay, so there are three cases. One is um, uh, so you can see that. So one is uh, e power. Uh, one is case case one is delta greater than zero. Case two three is uh, case two is delta equal to zero. Case three is delta less than zero. So in this case, we equal to c one e power m x. This case, c two equal to e power m x, and this is going to be c one plus c two x into e power m x. So let me erase uh, everything. Okay, I'll keep only the formula. So for case for delta greater than zero, what I have? I have e power c1 y equal to c1 e power m1 x plus c2 e power m2 x is equal. Okay. In the case of delta equal to zero, two uh, roots are same. So in that case, I'm going to have what I'm going to have? I'm going to have y equal to y equal to c1 Plus c uh, c two x into e power m one x is called. Okay. In the case of case three, what you are going to have? You are going to have e power y equal to y equal to e power minus alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x is called. Okay, where alpha is uh, p by two, beta is uh, uh, minus i into p square minus uh, sorry, uh, four k minus p square by two is called. Okay, now let's see one uh, problem. For each one, we will see one problem. Okay, so first problem. Okay, so for this case, okay, what I have? Uh, case number one, we are having this problem. Two y uh, two y double dash two y double dash minus five y dash. Okay, minus 3y equal to 0. So in this case, p is equal to minus 5 by 2 because I have consider I have convert this into this form. Okay, then only I can consider p. So by minus 5 by 2 and q is equal to minus 3 by 2. Therefore, my m1 is uh, alpha is going to become like so alpha is going to become like alpha is going to be minus 5 by uh, alpha is p by 2. Therefore, minus 5 by 4 is going to become And the beta is going to become like p square minus 4q by uh, 2. So p square is 5 by 20, 5 by 4, 25 by 4. Okay, minus 4q. So that is going to become like uh, 12 plus 12 plus 12 by uh, not plus 12. Uh, 6 is going to come. Okay, so 25 by 4 plus 6 is going to come. So what you are going to get is that you are going to get uh, uh, answer as so 25 by 4 plus 6. Okay. So uh, divided by two. Therefore, this is going to be like forty nine by four by two, forty nine by four by two. So thirty thirty six plus twenty uh, four uh, plus twenty five. So forty nine by two, forty nine by four. Okay. So this uh, divided by two. This is going to be like seven by two. So I am going to get seven by two and divided by two is there. So therefore, seven by four is there. Okay, seven by four. And uh, alpha is minus five by four. Therefore, m one is equal to 
minus alpha minus beta. Therefore, this is going to become like 5 by 4 minus 7 by 4. So, you are going to get minus 2 by 4, that is going to become like minus 1 by 2. M2 is going to become like 5 by minus 5 by 4. Okay. Uh, sorry, this is plus beta, right? So, I will write uh, here plus minus 5 by 4 plus 5 by 4. So, this is going to become like. Okay. So, M1 is going to be. M1 is going to be minus 5 by 4 plus 5 by 4, okay, minus into minus plus is going to come, plus 7 by 4, therefore this is going to become like 12 by 4, that is going to become like 3, okay, and uh, uh, M2 is going to become like minus 5 by 4 plus 5 by 4 is going to come, minus 7 by 4, that is going to become like minus 1 by 2, 7 by 4, okay, minus 7 by 2, so minus 1 by 2 is going to come. Therefore, what you are going to have, you are going to have y equal to c1 into e power 3x plus c2 into e power minus half into x squared. Okay. Next problem. So, next problem for case 2. For case 2, what I am going to have? I am going to have y double dash equal to minus 10 y dash plus 25. Okay. So, let us take the case 2. So, for case 2, y double dash minus 10 y dash plus 25 y equal to 0. So, the uh, actual case is going to become like m square minus 10 m plus 25 equal to 0. This one you can obviously see that this is an expansion of m minus 5 whole square okay, equal to 0. Therefore, m equal to plus r minus 5 is going to come. Okay, uh, sorry, m, m equal to 5 comma 5 is going to come. Okay, m equal to 5 comma 5 is going to come. Therefore, you are going to have y equal to c1 in plus c2 into x into e power 5 x is going Okay. Next case, case number three. So case number three, here we have y double dash plus y double dash plus four by dash plus seven by y double dash plus four by dash plus seven by equal to zero. So in this case, we were uh, m square plus four m plus seven equal to zero. So m equal to minus four plus r minus square root of by 16 minus 4c, so this is going to be minus 28 divided by 2. Therefore, this is going to become like minus 2 plus r minus square root of 28 minus 16. That is going to be like uh, minus uh, four, 14 is going to come. Therefore, I can write that as uh, 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 sorry. Uh, so m equal to minus 4 plus r minus 16 minus 28 by 2. So I'm going to get minus 2 plus r minus 12 is going to come. Minus 12 is going to come. So I'm going to Right, just 12i. So this I divided by uh, there is a 2 here, okay, minus 12 here. Okay. So this is going to come like minus 4 plus or minus okay. Uh, 2 uh, 12 is going to come, okay. 12 is going to come divided by 2. So that I can write as minus 4 plus or minus uh, 3 into 2, okay, 4, 4 into 3. So I can write this as therefore this is going to become like minus 2 plus or minus into i is going to come, i is missing here. I use that. Okay, this is going to be i root 3. Okay, therefore your y is going to become like y is going to become like this is your alpha, this is your beta. Okay, so alpha is minus 2, so e power minus 2x plus 